Hi, welcome back to Eddie's Kitchen. Valentine's Day is coming, so today I'm going to make a very special Valentine's Day lunch box that is filled with heart-shaped food so that your special someone can feel your love. Not only is it pretty, but it is also very easy to make and most of all, delicious. So let's get started. First, you need to make the heart-shaped pickled radish at least two days before you pack this lunchbox. Prepare the Korean radish, peel off the skin, and slice it into half-inch thick slices. Cut the radish into small heart-shaped pieces with a heart-shaped vegetable cutter. We will need about 1 cup of heart-shaped radish pieces. Do not throw away the rest of the scraps and use them to make other Korean food like soup or broth. Put all the radish pieces in a pint mason jar. Now let's make the juice for pickling. I will pickle the radish red because it's Valentine's Day by using a chunk of beet or a little bit of red food coloring. Put all the ingredients for the radish pickle, except for the radish, in a pot. For health, I recommend using about 2 tablespoons worth of a bit, but if you want more delicious and vivid red heart pickles, use quarter teaspoon of red food coloring. Once the juice starts to boil, boil it for a minute on high. If you use a beet, you need to boil covered for about 10 minutes on medium. After a minute, pour the boiling juice into the jar with the radish. Let it cool down and then put it in the refrigerator for about 2 to 3 days before eating it. On Valentine's Day, start to make your lunchbox by making the heart-shaped grapes and tomatoes. We need green grapes, grape tomatoes, and some toothpicks. To make a perfect heart shape, try to pick and pair similar sized and shaped ones. To make one heart, we need two similar sized green grapes. Cut a little in an oblique direction at the upper part of one grape. Do the same for the other grape. Then, if you stick the two parts cut with a knife facing each other, it becomes a heart shape. Stick a toothpick through them to fix the grapes and make a cupid-like arrow. Make four more. In the same way, try to make five heart tomatoes with ten grape tomatoes. Set the heart-shaped grapes and tomatoes aside. Now, let's make the heart-shaped kimbap. First, get one can of Spam Light. Normal Spam can be too salty for this recipe, so I recommend you to use the light version. If you do not like Spam, you could use Ham. Cut the Spam in 5 pieces with about a half inch thickness. We will use four of them. In a heated nonstick pan, fry the spam for about two minutes on each side or until both sides become nicely golden brown on medium. After it is done frying, let it cool down a little bit. Meanwhile, obtain four sheets of dried laver for kimbap. Cut them in half lengthwise with a knife like this. Among the 8 pieces of dried laver, cut 4 of them to make them about 1 fourth shorter than the other 4. The 4 longer dried laver sheets are for the rice and the 4 short dried laver sheets are for the spam. Next, season the cooked short grain rice with the sesame seed and the sesame oil. Since the spam is salty, we will not add any salt for the rice. Mix everything together gently. Then, 
divide the seasoned rice into four groups. Each portion will make one roll of the kimbap. Cut the center of the fried span obliquely with a knife. If you put the two slices facing each other, it will be like this heart shape. Check both sides and if one side is longer than the other side, cut it to match with a knife. Spread one portion of the rice we divided earlier on a dried layer sheet evenly. Here, about one tablespoon of rice should be left in that one portion. Put the rice on about 3 fourths of the dried layer and leave some part empty. Put little pieces of rice on the edge, which will help to seal the kimbap later. Place the heart shaped span on the center of one of the shorter dried labor sheets. Wrap the span with the dried labor. Place the span in the middle of the rice. Fill the top part of the heart span with the one tablespoon of the rice we just saved. By doing this, the heart shaped spam can be nicely fitted inside of the kimbap. Roll the kimbap tightly with your hands. Since this kimbap is about half the length of normal kimbap, you can easily roll the kimbap with your hands without a bamboo mat. Slice the kimbap into your desired size. Since it is kind of big, I like to slice mine thinner. Look at this beautiful heart kimbap. You can make the heart smaller if you use smaller pieces of spam. As long as it's a rectangle shape, it will work the same. Then make some heart-shaped rolled eggs using my recipe. I will put the link below this video. Everything is ready, so it's finally time to pack our Valentine's lunchbox. I like to use this square-shaped lunchbox. I got these Hershey's Hugs Valentine's candies for something sweet. Place two small heart-shaped silicone balls in your lunchbox. Then I will put 12 pieces of heart kimbap in it. Fill one bowl with a few pieces of heart shaped radish pickers. And put 3 pieces of heart shaped rolled eggs in another bowl. Put the heart shaped tomatoes on the other side of your lunch box. Place another silicone bowl next to the radish pickers, then put few pieces of chocolate candies in it. Finally, fill the empty space with the green grapes hurt. It is done now. Yay! On this Valentine's Day, make this lovely and delicious lunchbox for someone you love. If you make this for somebody special, Please take a picture of the moment and share the pictures with us. I cannot wait to hear your happy feedback. Happy Valentine's Day! If you liked my Valentine's Day recipe, please give me a thumbs up, share this video with others, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye!